Good morning, third grade. Ms. Fogelman here today for your math lesson. Let's go ahead and get started. Our learning target for today is that the student will use a number line to find the ending time of an elapsed time problem. Before we do, I wanted to review telling time. So what we do is we look at the hour hand first, which we know is the shorter of the two hands. This hand is the shortest hand. The number that it last passed is the hour. So even though this hour hand is between the three and the four, we go back to the one that has passed, not the one that is not two yet. So this would be three o'clock because the hour hand has not gotten to the four, but it has passed the three. And then of course, to find the minutes, this is the longer hand. Each number on the clock can be counted by fives and each of the tick marks, which are these little marks here, in between can be counted by ones, okay? So if we started counting and we have it labeled here, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, but look, it hasn't made it to the 40 yet. So then we start counting by ones, 36, 37, 38. So it is indeed 338. Now there, um, we have moved on to elapsed time which is the time it actually takes to complete a task or to travel somewhere. We have several types of um, elapsed time problems. We are going to be going over one of them today. Today's elapsed time problem will be end time unknown. That means that we are given the beginning time. Amy started her homework at 5.15. If she spent 43 minutes, so we're given the duration of time or how long it took her on it, what time did she finish? Okay, so now we have talked about how to use a chart for this, where we have the beginning time on the left and we have the number of minutes you're adding on the right. So 515, once we add 10 minutes would become 525. And we continue to do that until we have added the 43 minutes it took her to do her homework. And then our final um, time is listed at the bottom. Well, today we're going to be working on not only charts, but also number lines. And um, this is an open number line. So you can start, that way you can start at any time, the time that you are given in the problem. So in the problem, it tells us to start at 5.15. So we start our number line with 515 and our jumps are the number of minutes we're adding, much like our chart where we are adding the minutes down the right. So from 515, we can add 10 minutes, which we know 10 minutes is always a good number to add. It's the easiest one we, do, we can do. So 515 plus 10 minutes is 525 plus another 10 minutes is 535 plus another 10 minutes is 545, plus another 10 minutes is 555, plus three minutes is 558. So if we counted up our jumps, 10, 20, 30, 43, that is the number of minutes that have gone by. So let's work this out with our own problem. Let me first grab my pen. All right, get this out of the way. At 7 a.m., okay, so that's our start time, Candace wakes up to go to school. It takes her eight minutes to shower, nine minutes to get dressed, and 17 minutes to eat breakfast. What time is she ready to go? And then will she make the bus at 8 a.m.? So first we're going to use a chart and then a number line. All right, so we're looking for a time because it's asked us for a time. So if I do my chart, on this side I have a time. Ms. Fogelman's trying to write with her pen. And this side I have the minutes, okay? All right, so. On this side, I'm going to put 7 a.m. because this is the time that we're starting with, OK? 
okay? And of course, a.m. means we're in the morning, okay? Because she's getting ready for school. All right, so our first amount is eight minutes. Now, eight minutes can be kind of difficult to add to a, a number, but here it's not because we're starting at the top of the hour. So we're gonna put eight and that makes this seven. Oh, eight, okay. And then we're going to so that we've done that one. So I'm gonna cross that out, okay. Then we have nine minutes. Now this is where it becomes a little harder. So what I think I'm going to do is first add two minutes to get that to 710, okay. Now I haven't added my whole nine minutes yet, okay. So what is nine minus two is seven, okay? So we have, if I add another seven minutes, that's 717, okay? Now I've done my nine. Now I have 17 minutes. That can be kind of difficult, but I'm gonna take this 10 minutes out of there and I'm gonna add that first. And 717 plus 10 is 727. And then if I add the seven to that, we would have, now what I might do is do the three first, because that takes me to 730. Okay, Miss Fogelman's running out of space. Okay, and that's only three, so I have, I still have seven here. So I have th seven minus three is four. So if I add four more minutes, and Ms. Fogelman's gonna have to put her final answer over here, it is 7.34 that she finishes her homework. Now, will she make her bus at eight? She'll have no problem making her bus at eight. She might be able to sit and watch TV for a little bit. Now, if we do the same problem on a number line, okay, we would start again with our start time of 7 a.m., okay? And we would first, like we just did over here, we would jump eight, okay? Because that's our first time up here, okay? I'm gonna put add eight. So that makes our time 7.08. And then, whoop, I gotta make sure that's an eight. We'll jump our next one that we jumped over here, which was two, because remember we decided to get it to the nearest 10. So that's 7, 10, okay. And then our next jump was seven because um, we had to get to a total of nine minutes. So I'm gonna jump seven. That takes us to 717. Okay. And then I'm gonna jump 10. Remember that's the 10 out of the number 17. Okay, and that takes us to seven. 27, okay, and then I'm going to, we still have the seven left right here, so I'm gonna do a three minute and a four minute, which adds up to seven. So I'm gonna add three to make this 7.30. And then I'm going to add my four, which makes it 7.34. And again, she will easily make her bus, okay? And we get the same answer, whether we do it on an open number line or a time chart, okay? Just remember to make sure you know what you're looking for, whether it's a number of minutes or a time on the clock. All right, now. There is a word problem in Shobi, please make sure you use a number line. I want to make sure you can do that before you decide between number line and chart. All right, have a great day.